Section 2, Creating a Blog Application Using TypeScript with a C-Sharp Backend. Project Overview and Scaffolding Using Visual Studio Community 2017. In this video, we will create a web application using Visual Studio 2017, set up the project to work with TypeScript, and create the default page and bootstrap our script on it. The blog application we will create has two halves. It has a client, which is written in TypeScript, HTML, and CSS, and asks the server for blog articles. It also has a server, which is written in C-sharp using ASP.NET. It stores articles and handles requests from the client. This is a quick look at what we're gonna be building. We have the title of the blog up at the top in the header. We have the individual article itself, which is made up of the article title and other various elements such as images, paragraphs of text, lists, and hyperlinks to other sites such as packpub.com. The other thing that this blog features is what I'm calling an infinite scroll feature, which means every time you reach the bottom of the web page, the next article loads. So here we have article 99, then we have article 98, and if we scroll down and watch the scroll bar, you note that it gets smaller because we've loaded article 97. Then we have article 96, 95, and so on. To get started, we're going to create a new project, and it's going to be a web project, ASP.NET web application. And I'm just going to call this my blog. In the wizard that comes up, we're going to use the empty option. The first thing we need to do is right click our project, and we need to add a new item. Choose web form. Let's call it default. In default ASPX, set the title to my blog. Next, we'll add a script reference to a main.js file that we'll create in a moment. After that, we'll add a link to a style sheet called main CSS. Next, delete the empty div tag. In its place, add an h1 tag with a class of banner and content my blog. This will be the top banner of the website. We'll fill out the CSS class later. And finally, a div with an ID of articles. This will be the container that our blog articles are actually added to. Go ahead and save the page. Next, add a new folder called scripts. To scripts, add a new TypeScript file. Call it app.ts. Next, we want to add an event listener for the load event of the page. And to that, we're going to get our articles element and set its inner HTML to hello. This is a quick way to verify that everything is set up properly. Finally, right click the My Blog project and choose Properties. In the web section, choose Specific Page. Set the corresponding text box to default.aspx. Choose the TypeScript Build section. Make sure that TypeScript version is 3.1, ECMAScript version is 5, and make sure to enable Combine JavaScript Output into File. Set the corresponding text box to main.js. Save the file. Run by either choosing the Run button at the top of the screen or pressing F5. This will cause Visual Studio to compile the project and open it in a new browser. So you'll note here that we have our default.aspx page open with the My Blog header and the Hello text. So this lets us know that everything is wired up properly.